Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing this look for you, so a real summery kind of bronze look. Um, if you want to see how to do it, then keep watching. Okay, now I know I look completely ridiculous because my neck is a totally different colour to my face, but for tan I'm actually wearing the uh, Sally Hansen one, the Sally Hansen leg spray. So it's just, um, if you've never tried it before, try it, it's my favourite tan. It's an instant tan, it literally, I always spray it onto a mitt and then apply, I don't spray it directly onto myself. But it's like, um, it's like foundation basically, so it's kind of opaque, so it helps to even out um, like skin tone on your arms and legs. And it's it's amazing for staying on. It doesn't smudge, doesn't really well it, it would wool dwarf off in clothes, but not as bad as some other instant tans I've tried. So that's what I'm wearing on my neck, so I can't really put that on my face. So that's why my face is a completely different colour. Anyway, for foundation, I'm going to be using face and body. And for colours, I have mixed a little bit of C2 and C6 to give me a nice deep colour that will match this tan I have on. And I'm going to apply that with a 187 brush. Now you can probably tell I've got quite a few blemishes of a bit of a breakout on the bottom half of my face. So I'm going to go over with a bit of concealer and I'm using the Benefit Boing concealer and I'm mixing a bit of one and two. Two is a little bit too dark and one obviously is too light. So just with the 217 I'm going to mix a bit of each. And I'm going to very lightly dust mostly through the center of my face with um, a mineralized skin finish powder in light medium. And I'm going to use this brush that I got last week, an Inglot brush. Um, it is the uh, 4SS brush. And it seems to be very similar to the MAC brush that the number escapes me now. But the one that's just continues that is like, you know, the holy grail brush for so many people. So I'm just going to really lightly just powder it through the centre of my face with this. Now I'm going to apply a bit of the Chanel Bronze Universelle. I just have a little teeny sample size. And over the top of that, I'm going to put more bronzer. Um, I'm going to use a mineralized skin finish in dark. And this is one of the limited edition ones that has a highlighter with it as well, but I'm just going to be using the bronze part. For blush, I'm going to use a peach kind of blush. Um, I'm going to use Style by MAC. Just this colour here. For the eyes, the first thing I'm going to pop on is one of the Double Wear Cream Eyeshadows and the colour is Antique Gold. It's a lovely goldy bronze colour and I'll use a 217. This is the same 217 that I put my concealer on with actually, just to save on brushes.
now I'm going to take some woodwinked eyeshadow, which is this guy here, which looks like a total blah colour in the pan, but it is the most gorgeous, like creamy metallic gold. It's uh, Max Best Selling Eyeshadow. It just goes on so shiny. Just with the 224 brush, I don't know if I said that already. Just blending it all over the eyelid. I'm just going to blend it up a tiny bit towards the inner corner. I'm going to take a 217 brush and put some of the woodwinks underneath my eye. Just more so on the inner corner. So it kind of catches the light there. Now I'm going to take a little bit of texture. Just this colour here, which is the real orangey kind of brown. A little bit of a contour here. This whole look is very very soft and very blended out like I don't want there to be like a really contoured eye and like a flick of liner and all that. I want it to be really really soft and diffused. Almost like my eye looks like it has a tan. Now, just because I want this look to be real shiny and glowy and bronzed, I'm going to add highlighter. And I'm going to use this one. It's called Shea Shea La May. This was from the Champagne collection from MAC that came out just after Christmas. So, unfortunately, not available anymore. Um, but, like any kind of goldy colour highlight will work. I really like this one though and they might launch them again um, the texture of them was just fab they almost feel like a cream when they go on even though they're powder and just with my new brush my Inglot brush just brush that along the top of my cheekbones and then along my brow bone as well a little bit onto my forehead. eyebrows I'm going to fill them in with just eyeshadow I'm not going to use my pencil because I want them to stay I just want them to be a little bit more defined than they are now I want them to stay very blonde looking like they've been bleached in the sun kind of thing um the mine are naturally like this no matter what time of the year it is but I don't want to, to lose that kind of bleached look so I'll take a little bit of wedge eyeshadow which is this one on an angle brush and start towards the outside of my brow So it looks like that. The mascara I'm going to use is the Collection 2000 Big Fake Lash and I bought this on recommendation from Pixie Woo and I don't think I'm that impressed with it I must say. The brush, like the wand, is massive. Like it's nearly the size of my thumb. It's huge and I'm not really a fan of brushes that are that big because I feel like I can't really get it right into the roots of my lashes and get the mascara on because I end up with mascara everywhere because you just can't control it 
Um, and even the mascara itself is okay. And I was expecting it to be much cheaper than it was. It was seven euro, which isn't really that cheap, like considering, you know, the, the L'Oreal ones are all about 12 euro. So, okay, I know that's nearly twice the price, but in my head, it seems like uh, they're better value because they are actually good mascaras. So that's the eyes and complexion done. On the lips, I'm gonna use a gloss, and this is one of the MAC lip glasses, and it's called Schemer, and I think this was from the Fabulous Felines collection. And you can see it's gold. Um, it goes on quite nice, actually. It doesn't It doesn't go on gold, you'll see. No, it just goes. It's kind of clear what gold shimmer going through it. Slightly yellowy kind of effect, which is nice actually. And that's the finished look. So it's very bronzy, soft, glowy, real kind of Cameron Diaz kind of makeup. I am a Californian beach bum. So I hope you liked it. If you did, subscribe and give me a comment if you have anything to request. And check out my blog. I'll leave a post down below for more photos and other kinds of fun stuff. And yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye.